you have a WordPress website and you want to insert your ClickSense data into your website, you can use the ClickSense WordPress plugin. To install it, under Plugin, click on Add New and then search for ClickSense. Then click on Install Now and then click on Activate. As you can see, you now have a ClickSense settings page. You must define the host name. You can obtain this information directly from your ClickSense hub address. Next, insert the virtual proxy. You can insert a slash if you don't have a virtual proxy. Next, add the ClickSense port. By default, this is 443. If you are using the HTTPS protocol, check the HTTPS checkbox. Insert the app ID, which you can easily obtain from the app URL. You can add a second app ID if you want to use objects from more than one app. In this case, we are just using one, so we leave the app2 ID field empty. Then open the QMC and add your website host address in the whitelist. Select the Virtual Proxies tab, and then select the Central Proxy and click on Edit. In the Advanced section, select the Add New Value tab and insert the host. In this case, we have WordPress installed locally, so we add localhost. Now you can write a post that contains your visualization. We are going to paste this short code into a post. You can find the short code in the video description. The ID is the unique div ID. This is needed especially when you want to display the same object in two different instances. This part is needed if your object comes from the second app that you have specified in the settings. In this case, we can remove it. QVID is the object ID, which you can find in the Dev Hub. Open the single configurator and search for the app that you've added to your ClickSense plugin. Select the visualization you want to add to your post, copy the object ID, and then paste it into your short code. Now publish your blog post and run a preview. The visualization is now in your blog post. And that concludes this video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to receive new content every week.